just click any results as long as they are www.gov.uk. So I'm going to click on this one and see what it says. Okay, so biometric residence permits. Okay, so this is... So I'm just reading through this information to see if I'm on the right page. Let's see if we can click on this one, replace an expired BRP, because the one I'm doing at the moment, I'm actually replacing his expired BRP, but he has a settled status as a family member of an EU citizen. So let's see, because he also has a, let's take this one, BRP replacement service. See if this is the one that we need because, okay, I think this is the one that we need. So he is a family member of an EU citizen. He has obtained a settled status. And so he needs to update his, biometric residence card. So I think I am going to click on this one, update. Let's see, replace that one. So update, replace or transfer your biometric residence card. You can use this form to get a biometric residence card if you are in the UK, you have been granted under the EU settlement scheme. And if uh, your BRP is lost, you have changed your name, you want to upgrade your BRP, you want to change a, from pre-settled status to a settled status under the settlement scheme. Okay, I think this is the one that we're going to need. Right, so I'm going to click apply. And it's asking, do you currently have an application with the Home Office for leave to remain? for which you have not received a decision, it's no. And then your location, yes. And we have to register an email. So the email will be, we have to use his email address. Okay. So a verification email has been sent to the email address that you give the home office and you need to verify it to before you can actually receive the, before you can proceed with the application. No immigration advisor in the UK. So I'm completing on his behalf, but I'm just doing him a favor so we are just doing this update update replace update replace brc so i'm ticking so you have to read this if you're doing this yourself as well you have to read it so that you know which one you have to tick if it's updating or replacing um, then you click this one, but this one, the first one, it says to update, replace, or transfer your BRP. BRP is the permission, you know, you have a sticker, sticker visa. So you used to issue a sticker and they, they stick it in your passport and it's not a card. So if you are applying, you don't have a BR, BRC, biometric residence card, then this is what you tick. But because for this purpose, it's a card that we're actually replacing. And so this is why I'm, you know, taking this section, this choice here. Okay, if we proceed, settlement application form. So select the option that applies to you. So I have been granted settled status. I have been granted pre-settled status. I do not have settled or pre-settled status. So depending on which status you, are, you have, then you take which one is appropriate. So this one, um, it's settled status because she he has a, a, a settled status. EU settlement scheme. So identity document that he used. This is the identity document. This must be the passport even card, the metric license card. So, and then I'm going to get his biometric 
I'm going to get his EU Settlement Scheme unique application form. I need to proceed here and insert the reference number. So the EU Settlement Scheme unique application number, that is actually the 16 digit number that you receive with your application, confirming whether or not you have settled status or uh, pre-settled status. Oh, I see. So you actually have to put the dashes. All right. So dashes in each. I think that's correct. So we need to proceed. So it asks for your name. So Mr. or Miss, and then the given name. Given name will include your middle name. So be very clear about that because you don't want to put your family name that includes your middle name. Family name should only be one name unless it's hyphenated or your Spanish citizen where you have two names for your family name. Okay. It asks for any other names. Have you, have you ever been known by another name? Um, no. And then contact details, yes. So contact that email address, uh, phone number for your for use whilst in the UK. Okay, and the address. So yes, is this where you live? Yes. Okay, so his name, relationship status, it asks for relationship status. The thing is, it, this is really, really straightforward application. You don't really need a lawyer to, to help you with this because it is just inserting your details. So this is not something that is tricky. It's just your details. And so the best person to do it is you, not the lawyer. <laughs> okay. So do not pay a lawyer to because this is your, your own application. And so you don't want to waste money unless you're extremely busy and you're earning more than the lawyer. So, <laughs> so it's really not ideal to hire a lawyer to complete just your own information. It will be really silly to do that, I think. I'm just multitasking here. <laughs> okay. So then it asks about crim convictions and other penalties. So this is really important. Um, you know, I've never had any of these. If you have had any of the you know, criminal convictions, then you need to disclose it. So it's asking about war, war crimes. Okay. So unless you're a soldier or involved with this kind of activities. And then it asks about terrorist activities. And tick no. Uh, no, haven't participated in any terrorist views as well. No. Uh, refugee protection. Um, are you recognized? No, not a refugee. Protection. Home office travel document. Uh, no, no, haven't had any travel document. So change your personal details. No, haven't changed. Have you... Have any of your personal digits changed since receiving your most biometric? No, haven't. Your home office reference number? No, can't remember. Oh, maybe, wait a minute. Maybe he did have, did he have one? Let's have a look. See if he had a reference number. So I can't remember. So your biometric residence card. Um, are you able to provide? Yes. Uh, 
Okay, so you're able to provide your biometric residence card. Biometric residence card, um, London, UK. Enter your card number. Uh, uh, and then twenty third. No, not damaged. Changes to the BRC. Select what you're applying for. To upgrade your BRC issued under the EU regulations to BRC issued under the EU time scheme. To change from pre settled to settled BRC issued under. Just upgrade it. Uh, yeah. So while I'm doing this, you can actually see what information you're being asked. So we're going to change that national insurance number because I have just um, made it up. So we have to uh, okay, and the rest is is correct. And if we continue, then it asks about uh, declaration. So this is this. So if you go back, okay, these are the information that you are going to need. So your personal information, um, your email address, your telephone number, your postal address, uh, when did you start living at this address, your gender, your relationship status, country of nationality, date of birth, place of birth, country of birth, and then your passport details, current status, that means your national insurance number because they can check whether you're working or not, whether or not you have convictions and criminal penalties. Now, this section here is really important. So you need to read it. So do you have a criminal conviction? Do you have a penalty for driving offense? For example, disqualification for speeding or no motor insurance. If you have been arrested or charged and you're waiting trial, if you have had a caution, warning, or um, reprimand or other penalty from the police. If you have a civil court judgment against you, meaning uh, you have not paid a debt or there's bankruptcy proceedings or antisocial behavior and whether there's a civil penalty issued under UK immigration law, okay? So if there's any, if, you, if it's in doubt and you, you have a little bit of trouble with the police but you don't know whether what that was, but um, I would still, I would put yes and then you just insert what happened. And if you haven't got a document, then just say, I haven't got a document and I don't know what's happened with, the, with that case. It's better that uh, you disclose it instead of uh, saying no, when in fact you have, because if you say no and they, they check on the system and they find out that you have had records, then you know, they, they won't like it and that, that you, could, you could be in trouble. So other history, you're, they're asking about um, whether or not you've been involved with war crimes, crimes against humanity or genocide, if you've supported terrorist activities, if you've supported um, organizations that has connection with uh, terrorism, uh, you know, if you've used any means, um, expressed views to support terrorist violence and so on, your immigration details, okay, so um, whether you you have um, had a home office travel document. So if you don't know what that is, then most likely you haven't got a travel document because if you have one, then you would know what that is. <laughs> so tick no, okay. Um, personal personal details, asking about your um, whether your your personal details changed since receiving the previous biometric card. Um, your home office of your home office reference if you have made an application most likely you have but you can't remember or you can't locate the reference number without actually digging the whole you know um, the, the whole boxes of all documents and find the you know and looking for the reference number don't bother just tick no okay if you can't find it if you don't know what that is then just tick no they, they will find it on the system using their, your name 
And then it asks about your biometric residence card details, whether or not um, um, damaged documents and so on. And that's it. So if I click continue here, it's just asking about the verification and then your declaration and then you pay. But for this one, there is no, there is no money that needs to be paid, okay? So uh, if I take here, I will provide declaration um, of consent. If you are, if this is if you have a joint account with your um, partner, with your husband, wife, okay? So the home office will check the information and supporting documentation from a bank or utility company that you supply as part of this application is correct. And so you just, you know, tick that. You're going to sign a declaration. Uh, and this is about joint uh, bank account, okay, with other people. Um, is the account bank or utility for which you have supplied information, supporting documents held jointly? Um, I would just tick because he, you know, she, he has a, a, a wife. So that's the one. And then this is for financial support. So you just tick no for that one. And so the, Home office will, you know, come up with all these documents that you're going to submit. So mandatory documents, proof of address, consent, consent, current biometric residence card. Okay, and and that's it. And then you provide the passport. Save and continue. And then it asks you again to um, submit. Okay, so that's it. You de de then declaration, and then you pay, and then further actions. For the time being, I'm going to um, sign out. Uh, wait a minute, just download. So you can download the application to check, okay? And then download it. And then you can return to this application letter to submit it. And that would be this one here. And click email this link so that you just tick, you just click on that on your email and then it returns you to your login details to update your application. If you have to check some information and you don't want to submit straight away, then you just you know email this link and you get back to it later on okay and so and then you sign out and that's it guys it's really really straightforward so don't pay a lawyer to just complete this application because all the information there it's just your information okay thanks very much for watching bye